What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have episode 10 of the No Money Spent account. Uh, this one's been quite delayed for a while. I had a few opportunities to upload it across the past week. However, I spent a long time grinding towards Carmelo Anthony and working towards my squad for the 250 qualifiers over the weekend. So I hope you do understand that. Uh, but we do have the episode coming out tonight. Uh, so I'm very, very excited for that. Um, but yeah, we'll jump, we'll jump straight into it. I do a lot of preparation for the qualifiers. It's about a 12 minute long, like middle part of the video. So it's quite a lot to go through. We go, I think, across like 18 hours worth of playing. I went up about 40, 50, nearly, nearly 60,000 XP. Like, I went up quite a lot. The time we're recording this video, I'm up to about 132,000. So, we're definitely getting up there. We're definitely getting mellow either today or tomorrow. So, I'll jump back on and do that. But, however, we'll jump into the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Starting off here with a colossal pack. Now, I did a lot of, like, just triple threat games, triple threat online, getting a lot of these challenges done. I was renting a lot of cards. You guys will see my MT amounts fluctuate throughout the entire episode. So you can see here 34,000. So, uh, sorry, level 34 and 71,000 XP. So at the time of the the finale of this video, I was at 132. So we got over 60,000 XP across the past few days. So a lot of XP grinding, um, kind of making the preparation for, for season two. Obviously at the start of seasons, there's not a whole lot of XP available. However, we do have this lock code here for a prime time Zach Levine pack. This was kind of the start of when I uh, started recording this. And unfortunately we don't get him, but we do get a limitless uh, badge pack open that bad boy up sometimes you can get good things out of here silver badges do help and we get silver limitless takeoff i'm pretty sure i put that on wilt i'm not sure from memory but i do apply that to a card now we do pick up josh smith as one of our centers for the qualifiers he is arguably the best center in the game right now so i made sure i picked him up his jump shot's quite nice and that pogo stick is a very very handy badge to have level 35 right there we get a gold contract pack this is doing challenges overall um we we keep grinding so you can see they're 142 000 next uh, MT consistently getting more as we're going uh, going along. Uh, we get a diamond consumable pack once again from doing more MT. I'm pretty sure that was from the, doing the Dunktober cards. I'm not too sure. I don't don't quote on that, but we do get quite a lot of good rewards from doing those spotlight challenges. So we complete another one there, get a diamond contract, and we'll sell that bad boy off straight away. Uh, we sold him. I think I made the mistake of not selling him during content time. So you'll see a later one uh, a few episodes down, a few uh, clips down where we sell a second diamond contract. That one uh, will be the one that I sell during like the the prime time for when the packs came out so that one will make a little bit more mt you can see that line up before that was before 250k so that was that was like my initial squad going into it wasn't the squad that i finalized though level 36 now we're up to 80 87 000 xp and with that we get our final ascension board now marcus johnson we, we haven't seen him at all. I've played against him. I haven't had the chance to use him because I haven't got him from this board. Will we get him? Well, we've got six picks left. Uh, it's our final chance of getting him. Would love to have him for the end of like my team. I can go back and look at all my limited, all my Ascension board cards. And um, and there, this is how it's gone. We get one plus pick on the token and that is it. No Marcus Johnson for me throughout the entire experience. We had like three of my however many Ascension boards on the very top board. So unfortunately we don't get him at all. Um, I, I'll live with that though. He probably wasn't going to make my squad in the, in the first place. However, we do get a Amethyst player pack from uh, from the Ascension board. Quite happy with it. We get Sydney Moncrief there. Not going to make my lineup, but he'll probably he'll sell for quite a bit. I'm pretty sure I have sold him, but if not, I will go through and sell all those cards. You can see the top right, 99,000 XP now. We're getting up there. Level 37 now. Closing into Mallow, we get a diamond contract pack for level 37. Open that bad boy up, and there he is there. The diamond contract. I will make sure to sell these though I, there's no point in applying diamond contracts this early i don't think unless you're like sweating tto or you're an offline player on triple threat there's no real point in my opinion to apply diamond contracts so i always sell them off make around 20 30 grand off them and uh, make sure we do that we open up another pack there we get uh, uh, antonio davis another car i think it was glenn rice there which wasn't too bad we had a lot of matchups over the past week uh, a lot of my boys uh in i've got, I've got a group chat with a few australian lads who we um we make sure we get some uh, matchups going you can see here though this is one of the plays of the year for me like a, a dive there i should have made it slow motion but not dominique wilkins diving over the out of bounds line and keeping it in somehow it was an incredible save and then Kyrie diving and saving it as well uh, i was very very happy with it though now getting a standard league pack from tto clark Kellogg, the commentator unfortunately not really who we want inevitably we also get a draft token which i'll use after i've completed my current draft we grade julius irving get a 9.0 on him so that's not too bad and also grade pager that was in the midst of doing challenges so i graded pager and basically 
got him out of there straight away. So sold him for a little bit more. Some more clips here. I'm sorry to Zettery, mate, if you're watching this. I just really enjoy looking at looking at clips and stuff like this. This clip, however, from memory, yeah, it is this clip. Have a look at the time. 57 seconds left. I'm down by eight. All right, I'm going to lose. But what is Wilt doing? What what is this bloke doing? I I, I wish I, I wish I replayed it, but he basically went up. I, I, I don't know what his process of thinking was there. He went up for a layup, but then took a jump shot, and because it was a jump shot, I didn't time it, so he just threw it against the backboard. It was so weird. Anyway. Now, with 250k, I wanted to make sure my team was as best as possible, so I applied a bunch of diamond shoes to my players. You can see here, a plus three, a plus four mid-range, or you, you, you guys can read, you can see what I'm doing, but I wanted to apply as many diamond shoes uh, to my lineup as possible. I wanted to give them as many boosts as I can. This one in particular was going to Josh Smith. I wanted him to have that boosted shooting, the interior defense, and the speed with ball as well, because if you don't know, like, if you need to get bailed out in the past five seconds, you pass the ball to Josh Smith. He can dribble. Like, he can he can drive from the, from the three-point line, and he has pretty good good dunks as well you can see all of his attributes there in green going up so very very handy and 90 lateral quickness on my center which i love and by the end of this episode you'll see that we don't actually have wilt chamberlain uh, in the lineup anymore so i completely got rid of wilt i mean considering bringing him back for qualifiers now after what i experienced on the weekend if you're in that stream you know exactly what i'm talking about i'll talk about that a bit later though but um actually i can talk about it now you can see more diamond shoes you guys can see what's going on so unfortunately during 250k we lost our third game i think it was it was the second or third game um, and it was from someone who just paint mashed because it was on pro difficulty, unfortunately. People say it was on rookie. Some say it was on pro. I think it was on pro. But, uh, yeah, it was it's a guy that paint mashed with Wilt Chamberlain over my Josh Smith. And, unfortunately, Pogo, Hoff Pogo can only do so much. Probably could have timed a lot of it better. I just lost my head. And, unfortunately, I did lose that game. So, we finished around 300th on uh, PS5 servers. Not the best in the world. Uh, however, I uh, will go again in November. Hopefully, we can do a bit better. And it is clear after what uh, our mate Dunk God did that an ANZ player can make it to 250k uh, qualifiers. We, we know this, and uh, hopefully by uh, this time in November, we'll be able to have someone from the ANZ region across in those 250 games. So um, another Dunktober pack here. I'm pretty sure this is during the challenges. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. We get Gary Harris there. You can see we're playing a game here. This is for this is in limited, so I was trying to play as many games as possible this weekend. I didn't play as much as I could, mainly due to the fact that I wanted to get my lineup up there in terms of the 250k qualifiers. So you can see here, we don't go middle, we go left. It's always left and we get that ring, which is fantastic. That means we unlock Mr. Devin Booker, who will make my lineup... Um, People were disappointed that his card wasn't upgraded uh, in terms of his defense. Offensively, he's a fantastic wing player. I absolutely love him. Open this bad boy up, though. Very, very excited to have him on the team. I'm pretty sure after this, we do put a diamond shoe on him as well. I wanted to get that three ball up a little bit more. I wanted to get his overall attributes up a little bit more. He's he does have nice badges as well. He has a lot of nice badges. And uh, I'll be sure when I get Mallow, I'll be maxing out Mallow's badges as much as possible. So uh, there he is there, Mr. Devin Booker, doing a little, uh, little flex there. But... Overall, shooting guard small forward, really happy with how he is. This is the shoe that we put on on him. Unfortunately, I don't have any diamond three-point bonuses. I do have the uh, the plus three, so I thought I may, may as well chuck it on for qualifiers and see how we go, though. So three for the three-point mid-range speed, lat quickness gets a four plus, and he's, uh, I think that's driving dunk, gets a three plus as well, and we'll chuck that on him, the Kyrie fives as well. So once again, top right corner, 109,000 XP. We're gradually getting there, get, especially start seeing that we started at 70K to start off this episode. Episode. Chuck that diamond shoe on Devin Booker. 6'6", very happy with the card. 95 mid-range, 91 three ball, 83 driving dunk now. That uh, that was mainly just so he doesn't blow any more dunks if possible. Speed is up to an 85. Lateral quickness is up to an 82. So really happy with that card. Now that we see there, that was sold during when those the most recent packs came out. So he sold that diamond contract for uh, 27.9 thousand, which was quite good for us. Got us up to that 200k mark. And we do unlock the six shoe boost. I'm pretty sure that was from one of the challenges. I can't remember. There's too many challenges, too many rewards. We get a plus four diamond driving dunk uh, shoe boost, which is very handy, as well as a diamond Air Jordan, uh, Air Jordan 11 there. We also get the sixth card as well, which um, we get a plus three acceleration, which is handy still. Plus threes are still very, very handy this year. Uh, you can see having a having a game here, Yao Ming, this guy's trying to abuse me inside with Yao Ming. We end up snatching that and getting that out of here. Now, Kristaps Sporzingis was one of the most underrated cards that came out of this, uh, this recent set, I personally think. I wanted to pick him up. I knew as soon as I saw him that I wanted to pick him up. So uh, Pazingas is in my lineup. I'm pretty sure he's coming off my bench from memory. I have Josh Smith as my starter. However, we had a limited edition MJ uh, pack locker code here. 
we aren't very lucky with locker codes. You guys know that we're, after seeing the one at the start of the episode. I thought we were going red then, but fortunately enough, we get yellow and we get the limited edition. I'm pretty sure this was a deluxe as well. It will show us in a second. I'm pretty sure it was a deluxe. No, it's not a deluxe one. This is. I think that was from a different code later in the week. So I think that was from the, um, the logo show. So this was just a locker code pack. I opened it up. Wasn't expecting a whole lot. We end up getting an emerald and the emerald is Paul Millsap. So not fantastic, but we do get a plus three, three point shoe boost there. 114,000 XP. We're up to level 38 now. One off that uh, that uh, Hall of Fame badge selection pack. So excited to get that. We get the diamond shoe boost pack though. And if this is the most satisfying thing in the world, five diamond shoe boost. That is just, it's incredible to me. I love seeing that appear on my screen. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from Limited opening up a flash pack from Limited. Dennis Schroeder, not the best in the world, but we will take it. Another shoe, an air foam pusset. Uh, is, is it foam pusset? I don't know how you even pronounce that, but an air shoe here. Um, you can see plus three on layup, mid-range, three-point, and ball handling, as well as acceleration. I can't actually remember who we put this on. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it might be Kyrie. Oh, we've already put one on Kyrie. I'm not sure who it was, but I guess we'll see in a second. Um, we end up putting it on Kyrie Irving. So there you go. We do put it on Kyrie. Getting his three-point up a little bit. Um, I was a very, very close to getting rid of this card. I, I don't, I, his layout package is the worst in the game. I used to think LeBron's was the worst, but I can say right now that Kyrie Irving has the worst layout package in the game. So that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to get rid of him. Now we come up against someone here who loves to paint mash. Um, he had Kareem, he had Davis, and he still couldn't get past us, unfortunately, for him. Uh, so we have Serge Ibaka coming through and absolutely snatching that out of the air. Now, another lock code here. This was the My Team one. This was the uh, the limited, I think it was a guaranteed deluxe pack from uh, from the limited ones recently. You can see there, it was very late for me when I was doing this. Uh, you can actually see in the top right, we're very close to level 39 as well. Here it is here, though, a guaranteed uh, Jordan deluxe limited a pack. Really happy with that. We could have pulled Jordan. We could have pulled anyone in the world. I intended on going down the middle to get some tokens. Didn't really do that that well. And uh, I think I was just that tired that I just ended up going right side. So you can see that it is deluxe. Deluxe means that is guaranteed. So I was very, very happy with this. Open that bad boy up and uh, we end up getting a Ruby, unfortunately. Ruby and a Sapphire. We get a uh, Kobe White and we get Anthony Davis. So I'll sell those two off once I've done the challenges for Kobe. And that's a bit of MT right there as well. Now we have another flash pack. I'm pretty sure this was from Limited, these ones as well. Uh, Earl Boinkins, I think that was. I might have just completely stuffed up who it was, but I'm pretty sure it was Earl Boinkins. Open up a Colossal pack here and we get Lamello Ball. Um, nothing really much else to expect, but Lamello is going to go for a little bit. People are still going to be doing challenges, so make sure to sell him off before the end of pardon me, before the end of season one. Open up another one. We get Chris Middleton. Now, he does have a dynamic duo, and he's actually a decent goal, so I might uh, chuck him up as well. I'll be selling all my cards pretty much in my collection, except for the ones on my lineup. Um, we have an Amethyst player pack as well. That was also from Limited. Um, I don't record, like, my Limited boards. I just basically do the openings here, so this is uh, what happens, though. With Limited I've got to grind it a lot more. I think Limited is very good for no money spent players. So I've really got to grind it a bit more. We end up getting Gale Goodrich there, shooting guard, point guard from the like, from the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. We'll sell him off. We don't need him at all. This is an update look at the lineup. This is my 250k qualifier lineup. We had Kyrie, ML Carr, Devin Booker, Glenn Robinson, Josh Smith on my center, Ron Boone, James Harden, Kelly Tripaka, Serge Ibaka, and Kristaps Porzingis off the bench. Now, I did regret having not having Will Chamberlain. That's something I might change in the future. We didn't get Mallow. You can see top right. I'm only I'm less than a thousand XP off Mallow, so I'll be making sure to get him very shortly. But really happy with the team, and I can't wait to improve it over the next few episodes. All right, guys, big thank you, you guys that stuck through to watch this entire episode. I do appreciate it. I know I've been a bit lax over the past few days. I was just so focused on qualifiers that I wanted to make sure my team was perfect. And although I didn't get Mallow, I was still happy with how it went. It wasn't fantastic. It's a no money spend account after all. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to push to go harder and further next time, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that'll do us for today. Uh, now, just one more thing before we end. I did bring it up on my Twitch stream earlier in the week. Um, and there, there's something that uh, a lot of people have messaged me about. And it's about Twitch subs and how, uh, especially for Australians, they're a lot more expensive than someone in America, per se. They're $5 in America and they're $10 here, pretty much. Um, so I have had the opportunity with on here on YouTube to have a, a join program. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a member program here on, on YouTube. Uh, there is 
is specific perks and bonuses to having or being a part of this program. Uh, I think next to the subscribe button down below, there should be a join button. If any of you are interested in supporting me, supporting this channel, it's not a must do. It's not a, I'm not demanding anything, uh, but you can have a read of the perks. If it's something that interests you, please uh, potentially consider. Um, but as, as I said, nothing, nothing, uh, money has no, no impact on my content. Um, I just enjoy doing this. I love playing 2K. I play way too much of it. Uh, but if there is a way that you guys want to support me uh, in terms of money, that is always an option as well if you enjoy the content here on the YouTube channel. But once again, not a must, um, but any, 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 any of that consideration is always appreciated. Uh, but I do love you guys. Thank you so much for the support in the video. If we can hit 10 likes, that would mean the world to me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.